So right now we want to talk about how to simulate an apnea. What does our body feel when it's going through that? And what is actually going on inside of our airway? So if any of you have actually been to an ENT before and you had an airway exam done, they likely did this with you. But just in case they didn't, let's walk through it together. So for this exercise, I want you to go ahead and pinch your nose, close your mouth, and try to take four deep breaths in as deep as you can, knowing full well you're not gonna get any airflow going in or out. So let's do it together. Pinch your nose, close your mouth, take some deep breaths. Whew. Did your heart start racing too? Because mine did. All right, what else did you feel when you were doing that? Did you feel it kind of close or feel tight in the back of your throat right here? That may actually be the point of collapse in your sleep apnea. The other thing you might have felt, other than your heart racing, is pressure right here at the very top of your stomach. You see, let me explain what's going on. When you pinch your nose and close your mouth, it's like that straw we talked about before that's collapsed on the end. It causes the pressure inside of your airway to drop and there's a vacuum that forms so it pulls it tight together. And as your lungs and your diaphragm are trying to work, they're pulling to try to get that breath in and there's no breath, it's just closed up at the top. It's gonna push on the valve that holds the acid in your stomach. So we know that our stomach has acid in it to digest the food. That valve should remain closed at all times and only open when we swallow food and then close again. The diaphragm right here is the muscle that's helping our lungs pull that air in. If that muscle is pushing on that valve, it will leak from time to time. So if you're someone that struggles with acid reflux or your doctor has told you that you have reflux and you're surprised, it might actually be due to obstructive sleep apnea. You see, some people actually have what's called secondary acid reflux. And that means that it's secondary because something primary or first is causing it. We wouldn't know unless you're diagnosed with both obstructive sleep apnea and acid reflux. And if your apnea was fixed, the reflux goes away. That's what we call secondary reflux. And that is actually the mechanism that's occurring in the body during that time. So if you have reflux and you have an airway issue like obstructive sleep apnea, maybe those two things go more hand in hand than we thought. Ask your doctor for more information. Mm -hmm.